So guys, Fossil Island has uh, came out, uh, I think two days already into it, but I'm actually not going to talk about Fossil Island because I actually haven't been there and I haven't done anything there. So anyways, I saw the uh, other news section and look at this. The chance of receiving an elite clue from raids has been increased. Now, getting elite clues from raids is pretty damn rare. I've probably gotten less than like maybe eight elite clues and I've done like almost a thousand raids. So. I wonder just exactly how you know much more common it is now. All right, 999 raids in. The next raid is gonna be the super big boy raid. All right, this is the big 1,000th raid on this Iron Man Padoodle. Oh my God! Wow, that's that's fucking lit. I mean. Hey, I've seen deck scrolls so many times, but wow. I actually got something on the 1000th raid. Happy about that one. Just in time before the massive uh, lag spike, but hey, take that. Yo, the Badoodle works. That's cool though, man. Crazy. 1000, dude. That's freaking three zeros behind that one. Oh yeah, I wanna, I wanna see. I haven't gotten drops of deck scroll in a bit. Oh wow, it's really stable, man. 68 mil still, all the time, every day. Oh, yo, I just got an Abyssal Whip, yo. Damn. Beautiful. Although, I just don't use my tentacle enough, but hey. Hit me up with some more. Another shield left half. I gotta say, when it comes to Abyssal Demons, they gave me the most shield left halves. Without a doubt. Um, this is probably my fourth or fifth one from these guys on this account. Not counting the other ones I've gotten. Holy shit, dude. Just right after that shield left half, I got an elite clue scroll. Very nice, dude. So my super combat potions are looking a little low right now, so I want to replenish up on that. I want to get a thousand super combats, but when I was thinking of this, I said, why not just get a thousand, or at least try to get a thousand of each of the other potions that I use a lot, like Serdom and Brews, Super Restorers, uh, range potions So I have all the herbs that I possibly need to pretty much stock up up to that point at least close to a thousand for all of them I just need to go get some secondaries and whatnot for some of them and yeah Just gotta prep all the potions and get going so I should be able to finish that pretty soon So once I do finish this grind I should be all set on potions in terms of like PVMing needs for Probably this whole school semester and maybe even more so on the last episode, I decided to retire my fire cape to my house, but actually there is another use for my fire cape right now, and that is for the uh, master clue, for the emote part. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna build a hidey hole, you know, that basically allows me to store that, and yeah, I'll be able to use it uh, very conveniently for the master clues. Right now, I am mass making a bunch of amulet chemistries for the uh, potion grind that I mentioned earlier, just so I can, you know, maximize my resources and and I actually haven't really used the Strange Jewelry spell much and actually it's really AFK. I'm not sure if this can be potentially helpful, you know, to train magic on Iron Man, but at least on a main account, I can definitely see it being a really, really good choice for a magic train, especially if you want to just AFK. And I don't think it's that expensive at all if it even costs you much money. There we go, guys. Just hit 94 Herbler. Now I can make all the potions available. Super anti-venom, no need to boost. I kind of do need to make a few more since, yeah, I'm going to run out soon. Vazora, but making some pretty good progress right now. I have everything basically prepped for the super attacks, you know, 1,000 of them. So yeah, let's keep going. Thanks, Dragon, for uh, spotting a lucky imp. I'm going to catch this one. And I'm going to update you guys on the lucky imp. So if you didn't already know, I'm just uh, catching them and saving them for... The eventual, I hope, update to the uh, Lucky Implings where they're gonna, you know, make the rewards much better. Cause right now the rewards are pretty much really bad, so it's not worth opening them. So I'll show you how much I have in the bank. All right, I think I'm at around twenty something Lucky Implings. Twenty six now, not bad. And right now, as you can see, I have about three hundred, four hundred. A little bit over 400 burst nests on me, and if you add that up to my 300 brews I got, that's like about 
700 so I need to get about 300 more nests and the only way I can get that fast is through mole so I haven't done mole ever on this account except one time for <laughs> diaries but yeah I'm gonna just kill a mole a bit and yeah get some of the drops to exchange for the nests about 300 let me KO that bro let me hit a 94 I should be able to 95 <laughs> uh, that's so good to see man this shit's accelerating. I gotta do like my, you know, monthly mole with Derox, dude. It's so fun. <laughs> oh, wow. I was about to wrap up my mole with about 300 uh, of the, you know, cloths and skins, but I'm gonna get 100 more. And I get a Leaf Blue Scroll to, to boot. That's nice. That's very good. I believe Y is in the Gardener, right? I can uh, trade mole parts for like. The box? Oh, that's amazing. Hell yeah. That's great. So, that's about 400 combined uh, burst nests right there. Gonna open those up. Don't know what number, but let's check it out. Here we go. Oh, okay. Nothing crazy. Mahogany seeds. Oh, yeah, ever since Fossil Island came out. You can actually grow your own mahoganies in the Fossil Island. I... I'm pretty sure that's the only place you can grow them, but uh, there's probably also teak seeds too. I haven't gotten it yet, but yeah, I'll just keep it, I guess. Wow. Oh, there it is, the teak seeds. That was easy to get. So I opened about 300, a little bit over 300 of the uh, mold spur nest that gives the seeds, and from that I got 9 mahoganies and 9 teak seeds, respectively. And that seems to be about, wow. Three of each seed per 100, you know, mole burn nest with seeds. I guess that's additional farm experience on top of what we used to get because you didn't get these before. And both of these seeds give some pretty decent uh, farm XP. The teak gives 7,000 a check and mahogany's 15,700 a check. And they're separate patches from regular trees. Alright guys, these are the last two potions that I'm going to be making for the today's massive herbler uh, grind made a ton of potions this is the uh, final result voila a thousand plus super combats thousand plus range potions almost got to a thousand brews and uh, unfortunately it fell short on the uh, super restores i wanted to get a thousand for all of them but yeah it's okay i just want to get it done today anyways i'm pretty close to 95 herbler though so whenever i do get back to making potions when i do need them I'll have that ready. Alright, come on, we're almost there. Yes, I think that's it. Oh yeah, the latest quest is now done. Bon voyage. Nice pun there. But first things first, I've done all the quests once again so I can use my quest cape. So now that I do have access to the fossil island, I will probably be exploring some parts of the fossil island on this character. Uh, specifically, I want to check out the wyverns, especially when I get the tash, you know, I'll be hitting those up. Also, probably want to look into ultra compost. It's probably going to be worth my time to make as an Iron Man. And another content that I might look into into the future would be the uh, volcanic mine. I'm not really interested in that yet because I don't really do much serious, you know, mining. But aside from that, there's still a bunch of different content, you know, that I didn't even mention in Fossil Island. There's so much more. But a lot of them aren't really, like, uh, suitable for me because they're kind of mid-level, really. And, yeah, I just don't have much use for them here on this account, so I'm not going to explore those too much. But it should be exciting content for the next upcoming videos whenever I get to explore those content that I want to do. Oh yes, I actually got Gargoyle Task finally. Alright, so I'm gonna stop doing Slayer for a bit and yeah, we'll start Slayer back up again when Gargoyles, well the Gargoyle boss is here. Hopefully sometime within the next week. That would be great. Slowest kill yet today. Oh yes, finally! I got a Magic Fang, yes! So much scales. I am just gonna have to dismantle this right away. Oh, that is what I've been looking for, man. For the big fat scales, man. I should just call it 20,000 scale drop instead, you know, because I don't really need extra magic things. But, yo, know, that's lit. 
All right, I am gonna be pretty much not having to go back to Zora for a lot longer than you know normal, which is great. So I should be back up at fifty thousand skills. Ah, that's very nice. I didn't get hit. Oh, and a late clue scroll after the magic fang. Oh my god, fucking love Zora, man. Zora is just rewarding me up the bumhole right now. Great, great stuff. All right, this is the infamous meme number for uh, my master clue. Check it out. Oh, wait a minute. Jungle Demon Mask. Tell me about it. I never have gotten this. Wow. But it's so cheap. Let's figure it out. Oh, wait, what? I already have this? Oh, no, I don't. Nice. Okay, let me check my master list here. Yeah, got a lot of the Demon Mask now. Two more to go. Cool. Let's check here. It's pretty much dead. Come on. All right, here we go. Oh, I got a drop. Oh, oh my god, damn it. I had the freaking uh, game filter on, but fuck, yo, arcane first scroll. Okay, well, we got a drop though, so that's something. Ugh, man, I really wish I clicked all and it said twist the bow, dude. I have hit over 1,000 raids in this episode, and yes, I have yet to see a single twisted bow. Also, I have never seen in Central Bottoms. And of course the own pet as well. Wow, right? You would think, oh, after a thousand raids, you would like see all the items. Even if you didn't get it, you would at least see some, maybe in your team or something. I haven't. Not in a group, not by myself, nothing. But I have gotten tons of items, you know, over the course of the thousand raids that I've done. And uh, here is the updated raids progress chart. I haven't shown in a few episodes. My bad, I'm slacking a little bit on that. But here it is, the most updated raise progress charts so far so in total i've gotten 47 items and if you're wondering the rate for a pet is 1 in 65 items so i'm getting closer and closer to the average so that's pretty insane huh but yeah that's a shit ton of items and it's pretty self-explanatory so here you go here's all the items and those three slots with the buckler and central bottoms and the twistable of course i hope to fill those up with something other than a zero eventually I am going to be wrapping up today's video here guys, thank you guys so much for watching and I hope you guys enjoyed today's episode as per usual. And regarding the video schedule for YouTube, I think I can probably put out a video once a week at the moment. Yeah, this semester is really uh, tight on schedule so I'm confident though that I can you know, put out a video at least once a week though so hope you guys uh, don't mind that. And anyways, next episode, hopefully we get some more items from raids and maybe we can see the Gargoyle boss coming out, you know, this week. That would be interesting. Maybe not. I haven't really heard too much about that. But I will see you guys soon with another episode within a week. Take care.